In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with registering your first domain name. Hey guys, it's Craig, and I help small business owners and entrepreneurs grow and manage their business online. So let's jump right into it. So I know this may seem basic for many because you may own one or multiple domains, but each week I speak to business owners who have never purchased a domain name, or they have in the past, they haven't gone through the process in a while and are really confused about it. So I just wanna go through the process here. It's real simple, won't take too long. So let's jump right into it. So GoDaddy is far and away the most popular domain registrar online. However, there are many others, including Namecheap, which is a fantastic service. They've got great support. I've been using them for a long time. So I personally like Namecheap. This is where I register all of my domains. I'll put a link in the description below. It'll be an affiliate link, so it'll go towards this channel, or you can just head straight over to Namecheap.com. So here we are on the home page. We need to get started by searching for the domain that we're intending to buy today. Today I'm going to be buying one for my fiance. So let's go ahead and search for that domain. And click search. So the domain's available, it's 1076 per year. You're gonna see below that there's a suggested results because you may be interested in purchasing some different domain extensions. If you're registering for a brand, I would definitely suggest this. This is going to be a personal domain, personal brand. Um, I'm okay with just the .com for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose add to cart. So you can see it's been added to our cart. From the bottom right here, I'm going to choose checkout. I just wanna go ahead and register this domain for one year. However, if you click on the drop down menu, you can register it for multiple years up front. Totally up to you. I just go ahead and register them for one year. And I do turn on auto renew just in case you forget to go ahead and actually manually do it. Namecheap will send you reminder emails letting you know your domain is coming up for renewal, but it's best to just have auto renew turned on for domains that you intend to keep. Domain privacy, this is a good idea to enable only if it is free. I wouldn't go ahead and pay for this. If domain privacy is turned off, anyone can go and see who owns a particular domain, which is not necessarily a bad thing. However, there are services out there that use bots to see which domains have recently been registered, and then they will go ahead and try and contact them and upsell them on other, th other things. Again, I would just go ahead and enable this only if it's free. Um, a lot of providers will include it for free for the first year, but then they'll charge you for subsequent years when you renew. Namecheap is nice, it's free forever, so just go ahead and enable that. Now let's scroll down. And this is one of my reasons for creating this video. While registering a domain is super easy, super simple, this is where a lot of people are unsure if they need all of these things, web hosting, an SSL certificate, a VPN, WordPress, all of these different things, an email account. While you are going to need all of these things for your website, you may not necessarily need them right up front. So it's best to check with your web designer or developer, or if you're doing this yourself, just go ahead and get started with the domain for now, and you can always add these on later. So now I'll click on confirm order. And if you've never purchased a domain at Namecheap, on the right-hand side here, you're gonna create an account. I already have an account, so on the left-hand side, my information is being pre-populated, so I will go ahead and choose sign in and continue. Now I can review my order details, domain registration for one year, it's 888, that's US dollars, and free domain privacy, and again, it's free forever, that's fine, subtotal is good. I do have some payment information already saved in this account, however, I'm gonna go ahead and change this. So I just went ahead and adjusted the card I wanted to use for my payment. Now I'll scroll down and I will choose pay now. And there we go, thank you for your purchase. So our domain registration has been successful. I can go ahead and choose manage to go ahead and view my domain in the account. And you can see it's there. So if I actually head over to the domain right now, You'll see a default Namecheap landing page. So this is the point where you're going to want to go ahead and point your domain to your web hosting provider. It's kind of outside the scope of this video. Go ahead and contact your web developer about that. Or if you're building your website yourself, your web host will provide you with some name servers or an IP address to point your domain over to that web hosting environment. So I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications below. Thanks guys, see you in the next video.